Aha, yes! Look at this. This is the Malayan horn fog. This looks like some sort of mob. I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bam! See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Whoa. Up close and personal. And a massive snake! OK, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated bifin in the water. Come on, let's go. Tonight, I'm going to be looking for one of the coolest animals out there. It's the Malayan horn frog. It has this incredible mimicry of the dead leaf litter. And that's where it sits there, in ambush, waiting for any prey to come along. I have a real tactic up my sleeves. And that is the fact that it makes a honking noise. And that's a honk, honk, honk. I'm going to be listening out for the telltale sign of a Malayan horn frog. Let's go find him. Wow, I love the rainforest at night. So much wildlife. You can hear it all. You can hear the frogs. You can hear the cicadas. You just feel like there's always a goodie around the corner. It's been raining around here recently. And that means the frogs are out in full force. But these aren't the ones I'm after today. I'm after the one and only, the frog father. What I think I'm going to do is just wander up and down the river and just look alongside the bank, see what I can find. There's a frog over there. I think it's a horn frog. It's not moving. I think my best chance is actually just to walk across the river slowly. It's a long night ahead of me, so I don't really want to get my boots wet, so I'm going to take them off. All right, let's go. Yeah, I, I really do think that's a horn frog. Okay, I'm going to have to be really, really careful here, otherwise it'll jump into the stream. There's no way I'll be able to get him. It's not big. I think, I think it may be a baby Milan horn frog. Okay, wow. Whoa! Okay, all right, take the GoPro back. Is that a horn frog? I have no idea what that is. That is amazing. I don't think this is a Malayan horn frog. It looks very similar to the Malayan horn frog, but actually, I think this is a related species in the same genus, but it's not actually the Malayan horn frog. Oh, what an incredible guy, nonetheless. Look at those pinpointed like bits above his, above his eyes. Looks just like a leaf. The pointy little nose, pointy bits above his eyes. Can you imagine if he was in the leaf litter during the day? There's no way you would be able to see him. Look at this. Imagine if he was a little, little bit buried in. It'd be very hard to find him. A frog like this would be perfect food for so many different species of snakes. So the battle out here for being a frog is that you need to be extremely well camouflaged or you've got to be quick at getting away. We've already seen the flying frog. His, uh, his, his strategy for getting away from a predator is to fly from tree to tree. This guy's on the floor. He can't do that. So he has to blend into his surroundings as best as possible in order to survive. All the animals around here are really well adapted for being able to survive. And for this one, it's a camouflage. I really want to find the Malayan horned frog, much bigger and even better at camouflaging into the leaves. Come on, let's go. Yes. Do you hear that? You hear that? Honk. Honk. Let's keep going and see where we get to. Right, that's really cool. I've been hearing that honk, and now, completely gone quiet. He's somewhere around here. Let's keep searching. Ah! 
Aha! Yes! Look at this. This is the Malayan horn frog. This is the coolest looking frog I've ever seen in my life. I kid you not. This is a female Malayan horn frog and it is the most special looking frog I've seen ever. Look at those eyelids, really pronounced horn above their eyes and that pointy nose. They are so unique. What a special looking frog. Look at this. You see that eye, it just moves them. It moves like your eyebrow. He's got all the character, all those little movements. He just looks like some sort of mob boss. Look at that big grumpy mouth. All right, come on, do. So why would a frog like this need to be so well camouflaged in the leaf litter? This particular frog is an ambush predator. It eats anything it can really overpower. It is quite a powerful animal. Big, robust. I've never seen a frog look so unbelievably well adapted like a leaf. That vein there, it's almost just like a dead leaf. The same colour as well. Really amazing. Probably come down to this watering area here. They need moisture like all frogs. They need that moisture because they breathe through their skin. They're really, really susceptible to any pollution in the water. So they need clean water because not only do they drink it, but they're actually breathing through their skin. And that's why you find so many different frog species in rainforest areas, because there's so much moisture in the air and in, in, in the streams. I cannot believe I found you. Just, just really, you just need to just look at that. I'm telling you now, I've never seen a frog that looks anything like this. Nothing like it. A Malayan horn frog. Coolest frog. Oh man, the rain is coming down now. I've found the most special looking frog I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to release this horned frog back into her habitat. Remarkable, thank you. I can't believe you. You are so cool. Awesome. The Malayan horned frog, yes. There can only be one frog father. As she has shown in this episode, the Malayan horn frog truly is the boss by design and by attitude. She's calm, cool and collected.